Hi, I'm Jason from Systema Reading. I want to do a little bit about um, using balls for self-massage. In Systema we do some massage anyway, uh, but the difference is that we have, if we do uh, self-massage, then obviously we don't need a partner, so we're able to do it um, at a time that suits us. And um, we're also we're more in control of, of the massage, you know, working for longer periods on the bits that are really need the need the work um, or varying the level of intensity so we can just find that that sweet spot between unbearable pain and um, and ineffectual pressure we're looking to release tension and the ball or pressure can help us do that applying pressure to the muscle that's tight or hard or full of tension um, can help us ease out that muscle there are a couple of ways that you can use it. You can use the balls on the floor, so you can um, massage the muscles with your body weight completely on the ball, or you can do it up against the wall. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate some stuff up against the wall, um, but you know, on the floor you, it's, it's great for the stuff sort of, I find below the waist and above the waist I kind of use, tend to use the wall. I find I have better control over the amount of pressure that I'm applying. And you can get into some really kind of tricky bits that you can't do on the floor, it's kind of around the, the neck and the shoulders. So I've got two balls here which I'm going to uh, use for this massage. Slightly larger one, maybe sort of 20 centimetres in diameter. Um, it's a, it's a, a basketball, I find these really good. They have a, a texture, they're tough, so they can take the, the pressure of you leaning on them, putting your body weight on them. Um, and they have a texture, rubberized, and they have a little textured surface which is great because it grips and doesn't slip out from under you. So the larger ball it gives us a, a bit more of a a larger surface area that makes contact so it's not quite as intense as the, as the smaller ball um, you know the smaller ball is great for getting into those little nooks and crannies and you can really kind of apply quite focused pressure so, so using the ball is really straightforward you know you're just going to place it against the wall apply your body to it and just move across the ball roll the ball across the muscles here I'm just working across the the pecs, find a spot that's a bit tender, like it feels a bit tender in the front of the shoulder there, so I just kind of can work a little bit there. I can, I can move my whole body or I can isolate the shoulder, you know, I can move this, the body part against the ball, I can roll the ball with body movement. When I find those tender spots, I just can hold the ball there Use the breath. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. Allow the muscle to soften. Allow it to accept the ball. So place the ball on the stomach. Work into the stomach, applying a little pressure. Against the wall, this is, this is good. You can control the pressure quite well and just rock around the pelvis, the top of the glute, just finding in, finding the tense bits in there. Around to the other side, work the other glute. And come up into the lower back. When we do massage, we don't typically work the lower back, but with this, you're in control and you can actually come along the cord of muscle that's down the side spine there just gently carefully um, ease the ball along and into the into the cord of muscle it can be quite tender and you know, often can be quite tender and when you find somewhere that's a little bit tight just spend a little time there small movements around there apply the pressure use your breath to just release. Take the ball a little higher, work around the ribs, in between the ribs from spine, across, just rocking across, using the arms in different positions. When I find somewhere again, if I find a little tension, I can work on that a little more. So I'm just leaning into it, leaning into the ball, applying pressure into the back. Start to move the arms. 
find those bits where the shoulder blade, behind the shoulder blade, under the shoulder blade, open up the back. They're just basically run, rolling the ball over the whole, whole of the upper body here. It's an area that's very difficult to do on the floor, across the top of the shoulders, between the neck and the shoulder. A lot of tension there usually. So I've got some tight bits here, some hard, some, some hard tension in these areas that's built up. You can just focus on those areas, work into them a little deeper, work up the side of the neck. into the front of the neck, and the back of the neck. As it starts to feel a little free, you can start to move more freely. Roll the ball more freely. Just feel loose, free, move freely, feel loose, feel relaxed. Anywhere you want to Focus on, you can. Just dig into those areas. Just apply static pressure. So yeah, I hope you found this useful. You know, go grab yourself a ball, um, get up against the wall, get on the floor and, and give it a go. I think you'll find it a really, really useful tool for releasing tension from the body. Thanks.